When graphic designers are done creating graphics, they need to share it in different file formats depending on uh, who they're sharing it with. So if they were going to share their graphics with someone who is a graphic designer, they would want to save it as an SVG file. We did that last class. An SVG file stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. And the reason they do that is so that that graphic designer can take it and incorporate it into their design and or so that they could scale it really big and put it on a billboard or a t-shirt um, and they wouldn't have the graphic become pixelated. That's the advantage of learning how to design vector graphics. But sometimes um, you want to save it and share it with friends on the internet. And so to do that, you're going to save it as a PNG file. So just to remind you how to save it as an SVG file, you'd choose File and Save As. Then you'd go here and choose SVG and you could save it on your desktop and say OK. But you can also save it as a PNG file and there's a handy little function built into Illustrator that is for specifically for saving work for the web. And if I choose File and Save for Web, it lets me, uh, it brings up this special save box here. We're going to make sure it says PNG24. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. And the reason you'd use a PNG file is because you can save your work and it will automatically be able to open on any computer, any phone, or any tablet directly through the web browser. You don't need any special software. Um, here it's going to ask what uh, size to save it as. And I'm going to suggest that you choose either the width or height and make one of those numbers 400. It'll automatically change the other number for you. That way it'll be um, a pretty decent looking gr vector graphic. Then you can say save. And again, you can choose your desktop. And your job today is to hand in your files in both SVG and PNG format.